VFC 39, courtesy of Omaha's own Screaming for Silence. Their music's available on iTunes, and you can also visit them at facebook.com slash Screaming for Silence Band. Time now for our Bantamweight title bout. L.C. Davis out of Kansas City, Missouri, was supposed to face Ryan Roberts. Roberts injured. Dominic Blanco steps in on less than a week's notice. All right, Jake, we're set for the fourth of our five bouts. L.C. Davis, Dominic Blanco. This is for the VFC 135-pound belt. Both guys extremely fast coming out, touching gloves in the middle. Both really trying to kind of feel and see how each other reacts. L.C. to southpaw. Dominic basically telling me yesterday that he had no game plan, especially, I guess, on a week's notice. That really shouldn't surprise you, but he seems kind of like the kind of guy that, you know, he's game any time for anybody. Absolutely, you know, and that's one thing he does possess is he's, he's dangerous. He's not ever trained. I mean, he's, he's coming in taking this fight with no fear. Got to respect that. And again, he's obviously in that position to what you're referring to is, you know, Dominic Blanco has nothing to lose. L.C. Davis has, you know, potential potentially a lot to lose. L.C. was hoping to fight a guy in Ryan Roberts who's been in the UFC, who is a victory 145-pound champion. And both Davis and Roberts were hoping to, you know, notch a win against each other and maybe make that leap back into the UFC. So for L.C. Davis, this is a fight where almost everybody expects him or he should win, according to most people. And Dominic Blanco is coming in and can just let it fly. Yeah, that's another thing people need to understand too. Is there's there's no there's more pressure on a guy like Alex Davis, who's absolutely you know who's been at, at a high level, and he's a very very credible fighter. And, and you know the young man stepping up tonight to fight him is uh doesn't have a lot of pressure on him. He can go out there and just uh just try to perform. L.C. Davis, 17 and five out of Kansas City, Missouri. And L.C. has Blanco on the ground. It looks like Dominic might not want any more. His corner, Jason High. Looks like this might fight might be over. LC lands a big body shot. Just the hammer Blanco fist coming from. in on a single leg. Hammer fist by LC Davis from the top position. And LC just going to work on Dominic Blanco's midsection. It's like Dominic might be more or less asking for the official to stop it. Dominic up, LC lets him up. We're back to our feet now, both guys exchanging. Blanco circling in, trying to land his, his jab a little more. And LC Davis puts the finishing touches on Dominic Blanco. So back-to-back -back fights over quickly. L.C. Davis coming in and doing exactly what most thought and expected him to do here tonight, Jake. Yeah, you know take what? a look at this, one of the shots that you're talking about. That sure, L.C. landed some good knees to the midsection that really, that really stunned him, that stunned Blanco. And I think he, he actually ended up landing a body kick, which which you could tell definitely hurt Blanco and, and ultimately finished him. L.C. Davis getting the victory here tonight. Let's go to our announcer, Mike Kendall, for the official announcement of the decision. Davis, your new VFC Bantamweight Champion. We'll be back with our main event of the evening right after this. You're watching Victory Fighting Championships. 